Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Pretty gloomy morning out here at the range, but bad stuff happens in bad weather, so you have to train out here also. I just got done filming a video with Remington one ounce sluggers. I'd made a video a while ago about using some self-defense rounds, some buckshot, the X-Force 2 or the Force X2, a slug, and then the Winchester Defender through the gel sideways. I'll leave that link up here. Interesting results, but I got a lot of comments that I should not be testing with the gel sideways. So I just got done with the Remington one ounce sluggers. We went sideways, but then we also went lengthwise. Again, I will leave that link up here in the corner. I am most excited about this round. I bought this round at Bass Pro a while ago. It is not cheap. It is about $4 a round. This is the Barnes Vortex. 12 gauge, it is like a hollow point per se where it will flower out, it's a Sabbath slug. And it's traveling at 1450 feet per second and it's a 430 grain round. Will the gel stop this round? We're just gonna have to find out. I will be testing it sideways, but I will also be testing it lengthwise. So let's get started. So this is that Barnes round. You can see the slug in there with that tip that's meant to penetrate through the surface and then expand afterwards. Let's see how she does. All right, expanding shotgun round. off the bat it looked like a smaller hole it clearly went through that's the hole right there but and that's a partially a stud oh wow holy cow that just annihilated that stud that is so some of this exit was probably that wood splintering out but wow interesting stuff that's definitely the wound right there this gel is very very used and i really honestly don't think that it's salvageable so i'm just beating it to hell all right let's turn it lengthwise i got I got a good feeling about this. I really do. Let's set it up. All right, interesting stuff. We've got it lengthwise now, the long way. Let's give this a shot. Like I said, I got a good feeling about this one. Wow, that gel really did dance. Holy cow. So that's clearly the entry wound right there. I don't see any any wad really like the last one, the Owen in the other video.
but you can see right here how how it kind of expanded while going into the wall. Now that's got to be another piece that caused that because that was not there. So this one and then this one. One, two, three. But on the other side, the exit, you can tell it's still not that same shape, that same round shape as a slug. So definitely expanded in size. I was wrong. I thought I thought the gel was gonna catch it. Maybe because the gel is so used it didn't have enough grip on it, but this one definitely produced the smallest amount of damage after the gel. So I mean not not much to not much to really go over at the house. Uh, both rounds that I tested in the previous video and this video, they went through everything. I still don't want to shoot a shotgun in my house, but I think that these barns are better than a slug for the after damage. I don't know. What do you think down below? Let me know. That's going to do it for this one. Like and subscribe. See you in the next video.